The sun is shining, but don't let that fool you. It is freezing up here. I'm in my cozy sweatshirt. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my Sunday Spotlight. I am Susan Jones, and every single week in 2019, I have shared a free gamer activity that you can use in your classroom, and I call it Susan's Sunday Spotlight. This is week number 49, I think, which is crazy. I can't believe I've done 49 videos, but it has been a ton of fun. This week I decided to bring back the cards. I have shared quite a few card games because they're very simple, just like dice games. All you need is a deck of cards and a partner, and or maybe one or two partners, and you can go ahead and play a variety of games. I used to use math tubs in the classroom, so within each tub, what I would like to do for this type of activity is have a deck of cards in there and then maybe like a little choice sheet. So you could just write it up yourself and you could pick maybe war, you could pick this game that I'm going to teach you now. You could write down three different games that they could play with the cards. That way they have a little student choice and again, it's pretty simple if you've already taught these games in your classroom. This week's game is called Trash, or some people call it Garbage, and it is perfect for number sense and ordering numbers one through 10. So this is gonna be great for your kindergarten students or your first graders who need a little help with number sense and ordering their numbers. My son Theo is in pre-K, he also plays this game and it is very simple for him to grasp as well. So let's show you how to play Trash. All you need to play Trash is a deck of cards and a partner. Um, one of the reasons I've been loving playing these games and teaching how to play them is a lot of them I played in my childhood or I played them in the classroom and then I was kind of like looking them up to remember how to play and see the different varieties that people play. So I've always called this trash and other people call this game garbage and there's a few different rules that you can play by. But the basics of the game is to be the first player to put your cards in order from one through 10, ace being the one. So I'm gonna insert a video and show you how to play, and at the end I'm gonna share some of the fun variations that I found while researching this game. So let's see how to play Trash. Okay, to set up this game, each player is going to get 10 cards, and you're gonna set it up like this, two rows of five, and essentially they'll be trying to complete their own tens frame. The numbers will be in order, one through five on the top, six through 10 on the bottom. Player one will start and they can choose any card to flip over first. Here I picked an eight and they have to go ahead and place that eight where it was. Then they'll flip the card underneath. They have a three, put that there. And they keep going until their turn is stopped with a trash card, which is a king, a queen, or a jack. So their turn was stopped and now player two is going. They also have an eight. So they'll put that there, flip over the card on top, a five. You can see why I love this for kindergarten students. They have to figure out visually the order of the numbers to put their card in the right spot. And again, they keep going until they get a trash card. Now it is player back to player one, a trash card, player two, a trash card. Oh, three, you also, your turn is stopped if you already have that card shown above. Now, as students are playing, if the player puts a discard pile on top, like they're going to put this eight because they already have it. If player one needed that eight, they are allowed to take it off the top for their turn. Here, player two pulled an ace, which is their one, and even though there was no card underneath, their turn wasn't done yet, so they get to keep going. Oh, it got a little bright there, that's okay. Seven, okay, player one needs that seven, they're gonna go ahead and put it here, and then they pulled a trash card. Also in this game, if you play with the jokers, if you flip a joker, a joker is going to be wild. So that also adds a little fun into the game and you can put that anywhere you need. Uh, the object of the game is to be the first player to go ahead and flip all their cards and put them in order from ace through 10. So here they needed that five, player one has the ace, they get to flip again. Oh, a four, it's gonna be a close game. Let's see, 10, let's see what this card underneath was, trash card. Oh, a nine, that player doesn't need it, but guess who does? Player one is the winner. So again, you can play this one with two to four players. So that is the basic way to play trash that I learned when I was younger. So basically a king, a queen, and a jack were trash. They stopped your turn entirely. Now, I don't have it in there, I know I mentioned it, but the jokers, I already got rid of the jokers in this deck and I couldn't find other ones, but I usually play this game with the jokers involved because the jokers are wild and they can take any spot 
in your pile. So once you get a joker, you're allowed to take that. Now, other ways I've seen this played, some of the variations that I saw are jacks were always trash. So, sorry, trash. Queens, sometimes people would play that if you grabbed a queen or if you flipped a queen, sorry, you would be able to take or steal anyone else's card. So you could look around in front of you and see the other players and take their card to put it in your lineup. So it was like a steal card. And then I've also seen if you don't have the jokers, people have just played with the kings as wild as well. So in this deck, since I didn't have jokers, I still wanted to list it in the video because I always played with jokers. But if you don't have the jokers available, you can go ahead and the king can be wild as well. It is a simple number sense game that is a lot of fun for students and it's really easy to learn. So it's a good one to throw in a math center for your kindergarten or first grade students. And that is how you play trash or garbage, whatever you want to call it. As always, if you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up so I know. And if you plan on using this game in your classroom or maybe you've, you have played this before and you have a different variation, go ahead and let us know in the comments. I love sharing that for other teachers who happen to be watching. So as always, I hope you have a great week. Make sure you are subscribed and click that bell. That way you're notified of every new week's video. See you next Sunday. Bye.